Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at Patchwork. This is a two-player game, lasts about 15 to 30 minutes, in which you are trying to build the best quilt. Let's take a look. Patchwork being a fairly simple to game to learn, I figured we'd go through the rules first, and then we would go through a few turns to show you how it plays. The goal of the game is to collect the most buttons. The buttons are your victory points and also your, your money, so it has two functions. In addition to your buttons, um, the spaces on your board, each space that's left on your board, you're trying to cover as much as your board as possible. Each space is minus two, so that's how you score at the end of the game, your buttons minus um, your spaces that you left. What you can do on your turn, you can do one of two things. You can buy a patch. Um, you can buy any of the next three patches ahead of the marker. So I can pick any of these three and I pay the cost in buttons for that patch. And also there's a time uh, cost to it. So whatever you pay in time, you move your, your token that many spaces forward. So whoever is in last on the board goes until they're no longer in last. Um, once they move ahead, then it's the other player's turn. The other choice of what you can do on your turn, if you are behind, you can catch up to the other player. You move that many spaces to get in front of that player, and then however many spaces you move, you get that much in buttons. So if you're low on, on buttons, money, you can take that move to get some money to buy patches. Um, once you um, pass certain points in the board with a little button symbol, that's that you get an income, you get paid. So all the patches on your board have little buttons on them, and that's how much money you get when you pass that point on the board. Um, in addition to that, if you happen to be the first one to pass certain spots on the board, there's these little one square patches that you can do to fill in spots on your board to try to complete it. This continues on until someone until you get to the end. Once you get to the end spot, you're done, and the other player goes until they're to the end spot. Um, again, you alternate turns. Whoever's in last keeps taking turns until they're no longer in last. So that's pretty much the game. The only other thing to mention is the first one to build a seven by seven uh, complete seven by seven square on your board gets a little bon in game bonus of seven buttons at the end of the game. And that's pretty much the game. Um, like I said, we can do a, um, do a couple of turns to show you how it plays. The book says that the one that used the needle last goes first. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> and since she is a crochet fanatic, to put it mildly, she gets to go first. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So the first player piece is right here, and so I can pick any of these three pieces. And I think this one looks like it's a pretty good candidate for me. It costs three buttons, but only two time. The other one was three times. So I am going to pay three buttons for that. And you can place it anywhere on your board. I'll just put it right here for fun. Move two, I put my piece in the space, it is your turn. Let's see, I think I'm going to do a similar play, but two buttons and three time. So I'm going to buy this guy here. He costs two buttons, cost me three time, but he has one button income on it. So I don't know where I'm going to put him. <laughs> I will put him over here like this. Yeah, there you go. Nice. And then I move three. One, two, three. Okay, now I only have two sad little buttons to my name. Ooh, but that moves me forward a lot. Yeah, it costs a lot of time. But, it does give me an income and move me ahead. So I'm going to go ahead, for the sake of the game. I pay one, and I put him there. And I think, ooh, that's not a good idea. Hmm. Again, you probably spend more time playing with that. Let's see, I'm trying to... Aha! Look at that. And I have to move five though. One, two, three, four, five. Now, since I passed the button, I get an income. I only have two buttons, but still, it's two buttons I didn't have before. And I have no spaces in between my fabric. Pretty good. Your turn. Okay, what do I want? Well, I have three buttons, so I can't buy any of the ones available, so I have to move forward. 
So I'm going to move forward one, two, three, four, five spaces, which gives me five buttons and my income of one, so six total. Oh, six total. Here you go. Okay. All right, so that's my turn. Ooh, it's a little rich for me, too. So I will go ahead and do the same thing now. Since I'm leapfrogging him, I only get, was it two, right? Two. Make yep. sure I'm right. Okay. But next time, I will be able to purchase something real. So your turn. I think I'm going to buy that one that's four buttons and gives me income and move me forward two please all right very nice so now i get to look at the three ahead now this guy doesn't produce buttons but he's cheap and i only have five buttons now this is where the the process thought processes come in too because i could try to hold out and get more money but there is a cheap one in sight so hunter would probably take this piece and not let me leapfrog to get a couple more buttons to keep moving. So, might just get this little guy because he's also a pretty cool shape. So I will pay two, buy this one. See, doesn't he fit nicely right in my corner there? And I have to move two. One, two. And, oh, I passed buttons so I get income. So I get two more buttons. Hooray! And that, it's like a freebie. And that process continues. We keep going around and around and around and around until you get to the center. Mm -hmm. And when you get to the center, your turn ends and the other person continues until they're there. And once yep. both players have entered the middle square, then you score your 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 game. You, have, you get points for your buttons and you get minus two points for each space on your board that's not covered. And that's patchwork. All right, so that is patchwork. Now, one thing that we do want to add is that for the sake of filming, we did take out a lot of the pieces, probably over half of them, so that we could fit it easily on the screen for you. But there are a lot of lot more pieces and a lot more options to fill up your board. And I don't know, I really enjoyed this game. It is a nice casual game, and it doesn't take very long. And there's a lot of variety of play to it, so I really enjoy playing this, and you can play it in pretty much any environment. Yeah, it, 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 at first glance, it seems like it's really simple. You only really have two choices, buy a patch or, or move ahead. But there's a lot of things to balance in this game. There's really, you're dealing with almost two different currencies. You have your buttons, obviously, which are your victory points, but you also have time that you only have so much time that you're going to be on the board to buy patches and if you buy keep buying the heavy the ones that take a lot of, of time costs like these fours and there's I think there's even some that are that are five but there's a six one I see over there. Yeah. You can really zoom around the board and you'll end up you'll end the game and you'll have only have half your board filled. Um, there's lots of horror stories of people getting like negative big negative scores and I think a lot of that has to do with not you have to really balance the amount of time you have with the amount of buttons it costs to buy with how much button income you're getting. So, with, for a simple game, there is a lot of decisions to be made when you're when you're when you're playing. And that's what I enjoy about it too. It's simple, it's easy to learn, but it takes a little while to master, which makes it all the more enjoyable. Great game. I, I highly recommend it. There's not really any negatives I can think of for the game. It's just a really like she said, easy going, casual. Yeah, the pieces are really sturdy and everything. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's good components. And yeah, I, I, it's this is a great two-player game. It's yeah. made for two players, and it's balanced for two players. Everything about it, it's great. Yeah. Definitely don't let the the theme uh, throw you off. It is a really fun game. It's kind of it's almost a little bit abstract, but it's a really really fun thinky game. Yes. So I guess now it's time for our War Factor. So what do you think? I give this one an eight out of ten. I really enjoy it. Warp Factor 8. Well, I wanted it to be different, but Warp Factor 8. Patchwork. Check it out. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.